example two. The most common mistake people make on these problems, they forget a piece of the expression. So be very careful. They, they typically are written like this in your book. Make sure you see the whole expression. Wherever the word if is, that's where the expression ends. All right? I've seen people on a problem like that leave off the A, B at the end. All right? So it's negative A minus B minus A, B. That's the first thing I'd write on my paper if I were working this problem out. I'd write down the problem exactly as it's written. Okay, I know that A is equal to negative 3, B is equal to negative 4, and I just substitute stuff in. Everywhere I see A, I'm going to substitute the value negative 3. Everywhere I see the value B, I'm going to substitute the value negative 4. Then I'm going to work out the problem. Notice the structure. I've got something minus something minus a product. So I want to create the same structure. One thing I've recommended in the past is this. Minus something minus something minus something times something. Put parentheses where the letters are, fill the parentheses with what the variable is equal. So everywhere I see an A, which is this and this, I'm going to put a negative 3. Everywhere I see a B, I'm going to put a negative 4. What I recommended to you on a problem of this variety was make it into the simplest addition subtraction problem you can do. That means everything's being added or subtracted, it's either positive or negative. So looking at this first thing, the number is 3, 2 minuses makes a plus. The next thing, starting here to here, the next number is a 4, 2 minuses makes a plus. The next thing I see is this here, 3 times 4 is 12, 1, 2, 3 minuses makes a negative. <coughs> okay? Once I get the value of each object, positive 3, positive 4, negative 12, now it's just addition and subtraction. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 minus 12 equals negative 5. Same sign, add and keep the sign the same. That's the only negative number. Once you get to opposite signs, subtract those values, and the answer is the same as the bigger number. 12 is bigger, it's negative, so the answer is negative. 